Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. Alright, today we're going to make a stacked clustered column chart within Excel. Now this is not a chart type that you can make in Excel without doing a little bit of tricks, uh, but the use case on this is that the client was saying, I've done what you told me to do, Steve, um, created my cluster, but you'll notice deals is so small compared to revenue that it doesn't show up on my uh, chart at all. And so I want to move it to the second axis so that I can put different um, axis labels on the vertical axis for a secondary axis and uh, so that deals can show up. Otherwise, it looks like there's no deals but lots of revenue. So how can we do that? So we're going to add a second axis to this chart. And let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my original uh, chart data. We're going to bring it over here to another sheet. Just going to go ahead and paste that there. Okay, so we've got our data um, over and ready to be uh, transformed. What we need to do is we need to create um, right now our, if I flip back to the original chart, if I click on this, you notice tier two clients is all of this data. So if I move it over to the secondary axis, it's really not going to help me out. So what I need to do is I need to get deals into a secondary area um, so that we can manipulate that as a secondary axis. So let's go ahead and copy our la category labels. We'll highlight those, make the columns a little bigger. Now deals, I want to take these deals and actually move them over uh, into this new tier one and tier two client area um, so that they're going to be treated as its own data series and so therefore we can move it to the secondary axis without moving our revenue to the secondary axis. So let's go ahead and highlight our chart range now that I've moved those over. Go up to your insert ribbon, go over to your insert column chart button and we're going to choose the second one here, the stacked column chart. All right, so we have now created a clustered stacked column chart. Now, um, the secret to this is that we are using the multi-level category options that Excel has um, by creating services here and then putting in another layer of labels called revenue and deals. And uh, one thing that that does is, you'll notice services over here. Uh, it, the tick mark shows that services goes all the way out over here. And so what we want to do is in A4 is I'm just going to hit my space bar and hit enter. Um, if you want to put in text there, certainly you can. And notice that it shows up here as another category um, delineation. But uh, I'm just going to hit a space there and make um, the services tick mark end right after deals. And now what we want to do is we want to move deals to the secondary axis. So um, if I right click on and do format data series, You'll notice you'll get the format data series dialog box here, and I just want to move it to the secondary axis. Oops, I did the wrong one. It looks like I did revenue to the secondary axis. I want to do deals to the secondary axis. So to do that, what you want to do is click anywhere in your chart and select a data series. Then I'm going to move my up arrow key, and you'll notice that it keeps changing my selection. You'll notice over here in my data area, the up and down arrows. Uh, I think left and right doesn't do it. It does a point versus series, so it's up and down um, until you get to tier one clients. And you notice it's selected because it's really hard to select otherwise. Go ahead and click on secondary axis. Do the same thing. Select a series. Move your up arrow until you're now highlighting on tier two clients. Move it to the secondary axis. And uh, we're pretty close now. Um, so we've been able to move it, and you'll notice that we have our vertical axis over here. Um, you don't have to get rid of this dialog box for the format chart area. Um, what we want to do is a few things. We want to modify our values. Now, revenue over here on the left is a number format, so we're going to go up to our series options. We're going to do number format, and we're going to change this to currency with zero decimal places. I can leave this up, just move it around. Let's click on the right hand one. I just want some commas in there, so I want to change the num number format of that vertical axis to a number, and I want to change the decimal places to zero. All right, uh, one other thing that uh, people like to do is they like to close the gap here. Um, so if you click on any one of these series, um, let's go ahead and do revenue first, and we'll change the gap width of our series options to zero. And that will extend that one out. Now, what we need to do is do the same thing for the deals column since they're on the next axis. 
select any one of those, change your gap width to zero, press enter, and now you see that is uh, all set up for us. Now, um, one other thing, we've got tier one clients and tier one clients, one's blue, one's green. I like to make these the same, so I uh, can leave this data series dialog box open the whole time. And let's go ahead and select one of those data series. Uh, we're gonna go up to our fill options, and we're gonna change the color of this to blue to match our blue of tier one clients. And tier two clients here is in red, so I'm gonna change purple to red. And now uh, we are just about done. There's only a couple of little things I wanna do, and that is, it looks confusing to have four legend entries, tier one clients in blue both times, tier two clients in blue. So I suggest clicking on your chart, then click on the legend, then click on a legend entry, and hit your delete key, and we're gonna do that for the tier one clients, and so that we only have tier one and tier two clients in red and blue. Now, uh, <clears throat> this is an easy way to create a stacked clustered column chart, but um, some people uh, might find this a little bit confusing, so notice that uh, revenue here is, is over here with millions, and this revenue goes to that millions over there, and then deals goes to the right. Um, so it can be a little bit confusing. Also, you may think that deals and revenue are almost neck and neck, but really they are on two different axis points. So you may want to consider uh, separating your data by revenue and deals and services and products within those, and then just manipulate your data in the same way. So as you can see, we've got revenue over on the left and services and products. So they are more comparative to the leftmost column of axes number format of dollars and the right ones uh, services and products for deals are over on the right axis I, I kind of like this one better not sure which one you think might work better um, but that's how you get in a stacked clustered column chart how you get your data um, to appear in uh, different axes notice that uh, we just have to separate our data into different columns so that we can move this to the secondary axis and this one to the secondary axis um, so it's just a little bit of manipulation of your uh, chart data out in the spreadsheet, and then you can easily create your chart uh, within Excel. Hopefully you found this helpful. Once again, this is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at excel-boardtemplates.com. Also, please subscribe to my video channel so you're sure to get the latest posts delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.